Here's my Xiaomi phone running Lineage OS instead of Xiaomi's Hyper OS. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete process of installing Lineage OS on any phone, and the best part? You won't need TWRP or root access. Take a look at this. My phone is running Lineage OS 22, which is built on Android 15. It's got last month's security patch installed. What you're seeing is pure stock Android, completely stripped of bloatware and unnecessary apps. There's also a treble settings app included with this setup. This app lets you update your system to the latest version seamlessly, just like you'd receive updates on your phone's original operating system. You can also tweak hardware level settings specific to your device, things like VO LTE, double tap to wake, and a whole lot more. I've also tested games on this setup. Let me show you how they perform. As you can see, the gameplay is incredibly smooth with consistent frame rates. There's absolutely no stuttering or lag. After thorough testing, I can confidently say this version of Lineage OS works perfectly as a daily driver. It's clean, incredibly battery efficient, and runs buttery smooth. That's a quick overview of what you're getting. Now let me show you exactly how to install this on your phone. For this demonstration, I'm using the Xiaomi Poco F4. However, the process I'm about to show you will work on nearly any Android device. Right now, this phone is running Hyper OS based on Android 14. The first step to installing Lineage on any device is enabling developer options. On Xiaomi phones, you need to tap the OS version multiple times. On most other brands, you'll tap the build number instead. Once you've enabled developer options, navigate to additional options and open developer options. As you can see, my phone shows that OEM unlocking is already enabled. This is crucial because you must unlock your device's bootloader to install Lineage OS. I've created detailed tutorials on unlocking bootloaders for every major brand, including Samsung, Motorola, Nothing, Pixel, and many others. Make sure to check those out if your bootloader is still locked. You'll also need to turn on USB debugging from the developer options. All right, so there are three main methods to install Lineage OS. The first method uses the official Lineage OS build. The second involves unofficial custom Lineage OS. The third method uses GSI, which stands for Generic System Image. Let me break down each method. Start by opening the official Lineage OS website on your phone and searching for your specific model. If there's an official build available for your device, like there is for mine, you can actually skip this video and follow their official installation guide directly from the website. Now, if there's no official Lineage OS for your device, head over to XDA Developers and search for your phone model. You'll likely find unofficial Lineage OS builds for most popular devices, complete with step-by-step -step installation guides and all necessary download files. Here's the third method, which works for phones that don't have official or unofficial Lineage OS builds. First, you need to download and install an app called Treble Info. Don't worry, I've included a direct download link in the description below. If the app displays generic image found, that's great news. It means your phone supports installing Lineage OS through GSI. Almost every phone released after Android 11 supports Project Treble, which makes this possible. If your device is compatible, tap the Browse button. This will take you to a GitHub repository containing various GSI images. You'll find not just Lineage OS, but also pure Android 16, AOSP, and other Android versions. For this tutorial, we're focusing on Lineage OS, so click on the Lineage OS option to open its GSI page. You'll see three download options here. The first is Enhanced Read-Only File System, which we're going to skip. The second option is our target, the ext4 file system, so download that one. There's also a vanilla ext4 version, but keep in mind it doesn't include Google Apps. Once you've downloaded the ext4 GSI image, transfer it over to your PC. Before we can install the GSI image, you need to download and set up platform tools from the official Android developer's website. These tools enable your PC to communicate with your phone. You'll also need to install the official Android USB drivers so your computer can properly recognize your phone when it's in ADB and fastboot modes. Additionally, you need to download your phone's official firmware. Since I'm using a Xiaomi device in this video, I'm downloading the firmware from the Xiaomi Firmware Updater website. 
Similarly, you can find firmware for other brands. Samsung firmware is available on Sam FW, while Motorola and Lenovo firmware can be found on Lolanet. Firmware is available for virtually every phone out there. But this is important. Always make sure you download the fast boot version of the firmware. All right, I've now downloaded everything we need, USB drivers, platform tools, my device's firmware, and the Lineage OS GSI image. Let's start with the USB drivers. Extract the driver files, navigate to the extracted folder, right-click on the Win USB file, and run the installation. Once that's complete, extract your device's firmware package. Since this is fast boot firmware, you'll find all the necessary files inside the images folder. Open that images folder, locate the VB meta file, copy it and save it somewhere else for later use. Next, extract the Lineage OSGSI file. After extraction, you'll have a Lineage OS image file similar to VB Meta. Now copy the VB Meta file into your Lineage OS directory so it's easier to access during installation. Now extract the Platform Tools archive and open the extracted folder. In this folder, click on the address bar, type CMD, and press Enter. This will open a command prompt window in that location. Connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable, then type ADB devices in the command prompt. Your phone will display a prompt asking you to authorize the ADB connection. Go ahead and allow it. Once authorized, type ADB Reboot Fastboot. This command will boot your device into Fastboot D mode. Now, on older devices, Fastboot D mode might not exist. If your phone simply reboots back to Android, you'll need to use bootloader mode instead by typing ADB Reboot Bootloader. Perfect. My phone has successfully booted into Fastboot D mode. Now type Fastboot Devices to verify that your PC recognizes your connected device. Once the connection is confirmed, we can proceed. Type Fastboot Flash System, then drag and drop the extracted lineage OSGSI image file directly into the command prompt window. Hit enter to execute the command. The flashing process will now begin. On some devices, you might encounter a storage error at this point. If that happens, simply run this command and then retry flashing the system. If you run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll help you out. After the system has finished flashing, we need to flash the VB meta file. Type fastboot disable verity and verification like I am doing, then flash VB meta and drag and drop the VB meta file into the command prompt. Once the VB meta file has been flashed successfully, type fastboot erase metadata. After that command completes, type fastboot erase user data. Now that everything is flashed and configured, reboot your phone by typing fastboot reboot. On the first boot, your device will take a bit longer than usual to start up, so please be patient. I'm going to fast forward through this part to keep the video moving. And there we go. My phone has successfully booted into Lineage OS GSI ROM without any problems whatsoever. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support really means a lot to me.